So as promised, <laughs> you guys asked for Swedish meatballs made by a Swede. Okay. And I, I was I was telling uh, I was telling Mrs. Deb the other day that uh, I'm very lucky to have in-laws that I actually like. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you for being so nice to me. Okay. No turkey this year. That's right. So a lot of folks said that uh, this was not really that new of a deal, that they had had Swedish meatballs before at Ikea. Ikea. I say Ikea. How do you pronounce it properly? Ikea. Ikea. Yeah. For, how do you say Husqvarna, please, from a Swede? Uh, Husqvarna. See, I've been saying it right the whole time. Yes, just, I know. No, it's supposed to be Husqvarna. <laughs> no, Husqvarna. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so the ladies are going to make... Uh, Proper Swedish meatballs. Absolutely. No horse meat. No horse meat today. O only beef. Okay, <laughs> only so beef. I'll, I'll let you get started. I'll step out here, and uh, I think you'll in you'll enjoy this. Okay, so what do we have for ingredients? We've got the hamburger, we've got the just the bread. You guys have, have kind of crunched that up in little pieces. Yep. You're you're cooking the onions down. We've got yep. some egg yolks. How come you guys didn't serve this to me when I first visited Sweden? Do you remember what you what what the family made? No. So I'm not an adventurous eater, and I don't <laughs> like fish right very well. Yeah. Um, and they eat a lot of fish in Sweden. Absolutely. A lot of smelly Lots smelly of fish. Uh, yes. And yes. so uh, so the family decided to put on kind of a traditional Swedish was it smorgasbord? Yes. Uh, how do you say it? Yeah. Very Absolutely. fermented. Yeah. Lots of beans. With a lot of the traditional food, which is a lot of fish. Yeah. Fermented. And so I was looking through it was all in I was looking through this and I'm thinking good grief there's nothing here that I'm going to eat this is so disgusting and I saw one thing yeah. uh, that it looked good to me and yeah. you know what it was it was fish sticks it was, oh, Gord fish sticks. It was Gordon's fish sticks I saw I that I'm like I'll that. have yeah. that yes. I know what I know what that is yeah. we and actually so, had that for the children <laughs> that's exactly what happened and so I'm I'm scooping them on my plate and yeah. some nice woman I don't remember who it was she's like oh no that's for the children and she took it away and took it back and I'm like Oh no! And so I've got like these little tiny, like you know, little new new nouveau cuisine where you get yes. a little like a pea yeah. and you get a little thing. That's what my plate looked like. Well, and all, the whole family was like, "Your boyfriend doesn't eat very oh, much." We weren't even married then. <laughs> were we? so, it was, so it was off to McDonald's. The first thing we're gonna do is take the bread, hundred little pieces, soak it in some milk. I'm grating some onion. Sometimes you can actually even chop this if you want to, but I think we like smaller pieces, so we are grating some onions in here. Little milk. <laughs> no. There's another half onion yeah. up there if you want to grab that. <laughs> Found it. Otherwise, I'm good at putting stuff away for them. So, how did it go, bro? You come around under the sand, Yeah. Do you can tall. Uh, you have here are four egg yolks. Four egg yolks. I can do that. So I am just, um, they're, we're just going to use the egg yolks in this particular dish. So I am uh, getting the egg yolk separately from the white. And then uh, this is going to get into the, the ground beef, right? Yeah. Yeah. We are going to go ahead and mix the bread and the beef and the eggs and the onions. So I'm going to go ahead and soften the onions first before we add it into the beef mixture. Okay, so what do we have for ingredients? We've got the hamburger, we've got the just the bread. You guys have, have kind of crunched that up in little pieces. Yep, you're yep. you're cooking the onions down. We've got yep. some egg yolks. Hello. Is this meal sweet loaf approved? We've got to give a couple months first. Yeah, she's not quite into the solids yet. I think yeah. we should start calling her but, big but, loaf. But she big is loaf. she's looking pretty solid herself. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're starting to add the ingredients into the KitchenAid and we're going to go ahead and mix it and mix it and mix it. You know what they call these in Swedish? What, meatballs? Yes. Schöttebollar. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't think you can say that. This is a family channel. Schöttebollar. <laughs> 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 So All right, you guys. So, yeah. more and more, what, yeah. year, what year was it that you came over from Sweden to America? I came over uh, 1965. 1965. And then, and then I was a nanny. So, uh, what, was the first, what, what was your first impression when you saw America? How was it? How was it? Had you, had you been to America before? Well, I was here uh, for a summer for three weeks. So it wasn't a so, big surprise then? Well, it was still a big surprise to live in a family. And, and the other times it was just all glitzy and fun. Now I was in a, a family. So the lady in the household that I worked, she was a great cook. So she really inspired me to uh, keep on going. 
So that was wonderful. I liked that lots. Yeah. Uh, I think every time I saw something new, I said, oh boy, everything was a boy because I was really impressed easily. So when we were uh, at our wedding, um, we have a good friend, Don, uh, yeah. who said something really funny. It's that you, you came over from Sweden in the 60s. Right. And you brought, you brought the 60s Swedish dialect. Correct. And you, you still kind of got that going on, from what I understand, right? Yeah, that's what they joke about me in the family when you I go, go home to go Sweden. We go back to Sweden, like, she's so, like... You're we like, don't. you're saying the equivalent of, oh, it's groovy, man. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. They do make fun of me on, on occasions. But, but you know, it's funny how some words uh, cycled around. So I think some of the words are now being used again. Now you're cool again. Yeah, now you're cool so again. hip, Mom. I am. She's finally, always cool. Yes, always yeah. cool. When we got our last our last vacuum, we called it our robot. And so we would be like, Jack, would you like to use the robot? And so at first he thought it was pretty cool. He, he doesn't think it's so cool anymore. A little tip is to go ahead and fry up some of the meatball first to see how it tastes because depending on how fresh your spices are, it can taste very different. This way we know whether we need to add some more spices or not, plus we get to taste the deliciousness before we actually start making the meatball. How was it growing up with a Swedish mother? I would imagine there weren't a lot of those around where you grew up. <laughs> no, there were not a lot of those. It was interesting because she cooked food that was different than what everybody else would eat. So we had chicken curry, we had a lot of fish. What else did we eat that was strange? A knäckebröd, yeah. right? Saltlakris. Saltlakris, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so, you know, they had some things that were a little bit strange. And then, you know, it's Cardamom always... Cardamom buns. Cardamom yeah. Roll. yeah. So delicious. Yeah. Um, and then we, our, our holidays were a little bit different. Christmas Eve instead of Christmas Day. Yeah. Julgrånsplundring. So you'd throw out your Christmas tree and you'd have a party all about it. Yes. You know, I mean, things that are kind of strange. <laughs> so, Justin, what's the deal with the sore strumming? Do people actually enjoy that? They do, and it's actually a big, big uh, parties going on with sieve strumming. I've had it a couple of times. I can't say it's on my list of being delicacies, but it's, it's just the thing about it. You sit outside, it's usually in the fall. You had something called almond potatoes. They are almond-shaped, and then you have uh, onions to go with it, sour cream, a special type of bread, and you roll up the sieve strumming that smells putrid. Is what do you call it? Yeah. 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 Smells sour. terrible. Sour. Yeah. Sour. 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 So, yes. And what they have done is they have taken a Baltic herring, I believe it is, and they put it in cans with some certain bacteria. Oh, yeah. It, We've all seen the videos. Yes. I've seen yes. grown American men cry just from the canister being opened. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You're absolutely correct. So if I were to have some of that for you next time, would you, would you like to, would you enjoy that? No. All right, Mom, we've got to clean as we go, just like a pro. Okay. <laughs> My husband tells me that all the time. Svenska, that was engelska. You must have called a little engel, uh, svenska nib. So, but Papa, why for använder du nib instead of for nu, or dib instead of for day? Förlåt, jag talar inte mycket svenska. See what I mean, Cody? It is confusing. <laughs> I've been working on my Swedish. Let's Tell hear us. it. What do you have? Tita ne hund. Oh. <laughs> what about a color? It's not dog meat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? You said, look, no, dog. No, you did. What I love is that you came over with your girlfriend, <laughs> yeah. and she also married an American. She did. Yeah. Right. She lives in Connecticut. Too. Which, I mean, yeah. I think of just like the... Yeah. Those, those American men can really woo the women, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, mom liked Cody, and she, because of her Swedish accent, said to me, Oh, did you talk to that long fellow instead of tall? That long fellow, he was so nice. And I was like, yeah, that long fellow, he was so soft. not my kind of guy. But apparently he was. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's always fun to hear stories how people met, I think. Right? Well, guys, this looks very nice. I yeah. think we're going to have a, a nice meal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have to go up. So <laughs> delicious. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Here. Okay. Oh. Oh, God, it's so good. Mm -hmm. It is yeah, good, isn't it? Good spices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a little baking. Okay, so yeah. we're having, actually, we're going out to Pizza Italian, Italian food tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you guys will put these in the fridge and then we'll bake them. Yeah. And then we'll make the, the whole dinner tomorrow. So I don't know if that. 
if the, the finished product will be in this video or the next one, depends on how long it takes, but yeah. regardless. Okay, we're we'll, going to we'll eat. We'll share it. So yep. these are great. So, yep. all right, thanks for watching. All right. And we'll see you on the, on the next video. And make sure you give it a thumbs up. That's right. Oh, <laughs> way to go, Dad. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, right? <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. How do you say it in Swedish? Tick on, and then tick on. Tick on, 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 tick on,